How to Stay Younger Than Your Twin, The Science Behind the Twin Paradox. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating world of science and technology. I'm your host, and today we're going to talk about one of the most mind-blowing concepts in physics, the twin paradox. The twin paradox is a thought experiment that demonstrates the concept of time dilation and special relativity. In the twin paradox, one twin leaves Earth on a rocket ship and travels near the speed of light while the other twin stays on Earth. The twin on the rocket ages less than the twin on Earth, due to time dilation. But how is this possible? And what does it mean for our understanding of time and space? To answer these questions, we need to understand what special relativity is and how it affects time and space. Special relativity is a theory developed by Albert Einstein in 1905 that describes how the laws of physics work in situations where objects are moving at very high speeds, close to the speed of light. One of the consequences of this theory is that time and space are not absolute, but relative to the observer. This means that different observers can measure different lengths, speeds, and times for the same events, depending on their state of motion. One of the effects of special relativity is time dilation, which means that time runs slower for an observer who is moving faster than another observer. This can be explained by using a simple example. Imagine you have a clock that consists of a light beam bouncing between two mirrors. The clock ticks every time the light beam hits a mirror. Now, if you are holding this clock and moving at a constant speed, you will see the light beam travel in a straight line between the mirrors. However, if someone else is watching you from a stationary position, they will see the light beam travel in a zigzag pattern, because you are moving sideways relative to them. This means that the light beam has to travel a longer distance in their frame of reference than in yours. Since the speed of light is constant for all observers, this also means that the light beam takes longer to complete one tick in their frame of reference than in yours. Therefore, they will see your clock running slower than theirs. This is what happens in the twin paradox. When one twin leaves Earth on a rocket ship and travels near the speed of light, their clock runs slower than the clock of the twin who stays on Earth, according to special relativity. This means that when they return to Earth, they will have aged less than their twin who stayed behind. But wait a minute, isn't this a paradox? After all, both twins can see each other as moving, so shouldn't they both see each other's clock running slower? How can we resolve this apparent contradiction? The key to resolving the twin paradox is to realize that there is no symmetry between the twins' situations. The twin who stays on Earth is in an inertial frame of reference, which means that they are not accelerating or changing their speed or direction. The twin who travels on the rocket ship is in a non-inertial frame of reference, which means that they are accelerating or changing their speed or direction at some point during their journey. For example, they have to slow down and turn around to come back to Earth. This acceleration breaks the symmetry between the twins and makes them experience different effects of special relativity. One way to understand this is to use another consequence of special relativity, length contraction. Length contraction means that an object appears shorter along its direction of motion when it is moving at high speeds relative to an observer. For example, if you are holding a meter stick and moving at near light speed, someone who is stationary will see your meter stick as shorter than theirs. Now, imagine that you have a spaceship that is 10 light years long when it is at rest. If you travel on this spaceship at near light speed from Earth to a star that is 10 light years away from Earth, someone who stays on Earth will see your spaceship as shorter than 10 light years due to length contraction. This means that they will see you reach the star sooner than 10 years, according to their clock. However, from your perspective on the spaceship, your spaceship is not shorter than 10 light years and the star is not closer than 10 light years due to length contraction. This means that you will see yourself reach the star later than 10 years, according to your clock. This shows that different observers can disagree on how long it takes for an event to happen or how far away something is due to special relativity. This also affects how they measure simultaneity, which means whether two events happen at the same time or not. For example, if you are on Earth and you see two lightning bolts strike two trees at opposite ends of a field at the same time, someone who is moving past you at high speed might see one lightning bolt strike before the other due to special relativity. This is what happens in the twin paradox. When one twin travels on a rocket ship and the other twin stays on Earth, 
They disagree on how long it takes for the journey to happen and how far away the destination is due to special relativity. They also disagree on what events are simultaneous or not. For example, when the traveling twin reaches the star and turns around, they might see their twin on Earth as younger than themselves due to time dilation. However, the twin on Earth might see their twin as older than themselves at that moment due to simultaneity. This means that the twins do not have a consistent way of comparing their ages or clocks until they meet again on Earth. When they do, they will find out that the traveling twin has aged less than the twin who stayed on Earth, because the traveling twin experienced more effects of special relativity than the twin who stayed on Earth. So, there you have it. The twin paradox is not really a paradox, but a consequence of special relativity and how it affects time and space. It shows us that time and space are not fixed and absolute, but relative and flexible. It also shows us that our common sense and intuition can fail us when we deal with situations that are very different from our everyday experience. But that's what makes science so fascinating and exciting. It challenges us to expand our horizons and explore the mysteries of the universe. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Science Telly for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new content. Thanks for watching and stay curious.